Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. All right, guys. Um, thank all of you that have been booking readings. Thank all of you that have been sending in donations. Everybody's been so generous around the holidays, and I very much appreciate it. Um, also, if you guys still need personal readings, I still have both specials going on. So the hour-long readings are 65. The half hours, which I've never even offered before, are 40 for the holidays. Um, also, you can get either of those specials on gift certificate if you want to purchase them for someone else. All right, let's get moving. This is going to be your reading for tomorrow, for December 3rd, 2019. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019, for the collective, for anyone who is guided to see this reading on YouTube, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. For tomorrow's reading, what are the most important messages for the collective? Nice. Okay. Anything else? What are the messages for t the collective for tomorrow, please? What are the messages for tomorrow for the collective, please? came out as a challenge, so we'll keep it there. What else do we need to know about tomorrow for the collective? One more, please. Oops. One more card. There we go. All right, so, wow, that's interesting. All right, we had... This, I feel like it came out before this. Not that it really matters, but I always like to keep that. And these two came out opposite of each other as well, I think. I just like to know really about the middle. And that one for sure was the card in the middle. So it's not that big of a deal. I think these two came out at the exact same time, so I'm not sure. We'll put them back, but I'm not positive. Not that it matters all that much. I know I get really weird about wanting them to be perfect the way they came out, but I believe this one fell out before that, so I'm going to put it there. Because sometimes it does make a difference uh, in the story when I'm looking at it because um, I really work off the pictures and how they work together. So, well, with the Hangman and Six of Swords, it's like there's no real, it doesn't really matter which way they go. It's just that somebody's looking at things from another perspective, really gaining that, you know, um, spiritual enlightenment they need to make decisions and looking at people, places, things, whatever they need to look at very deeply, really reflecting on, and also it's a very spiritual time. It's a time of going within and really discovering yourself as well. So we do have the Six of Swords here. So someone's moving, oh, moving away from, that's why I ended up putting them that way, I'll bet, moving away from this sadness and grief. So having a card like the Five of Cups here, you know, and then having the Six of Swords next to it is really like moving away from it and getting into your little cocoon state here. Now, I do, I can't help but notice that um, we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. I'm uh, going to bet they're the same person because this is from the bottom of your deck. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the Grieving. All right, so, yeah, and we've also, somebody's been in the Hermit mode as well, really shining the light on the things, people, places, everything in your life, and knowing what you want to do now when you come out of it. We had the Three of Cups reversed. There was a lot of unhappiness around something that had to do with a soulmate relationship or a rela relationship from the past here. And someone's reflecting on it. I feel like someone's just revisiting it mentally, though. Um, like, I feel like this is a mental thing. And I feel like this Queen of Swords might be the same person as that Queen of Cups. 
I do. I feel like they're the same person. All right. Well, we'll find out, guys. Um. All right. Now, I definitely feel like this has been emotional. I definitely feel like someone's been stressed out with the Eight of Swords here in their head. They didn't know all the answers. They're starting to get some clarification here. This is the Unknown card. It's exclusive to this deck, the Crystal Vision deck. And it's in the reverse. So I feel like somebody didn't have all the answers. They were really stressed out and in their head because they just didn't know everything. But I feel like they're gaining enlightenment. But I feel like it's their own enlightenment they're gaining. They were in the hermit mode, right? They were in this hermit mode as well, doing the same thing, trying to get information, even if it's from spirit, spiritual sources. Hanged man as well. Um, and I feel like it's a, it's allowing them to at least recover a little bit from all this stress of the unknown that they've been through. They really felt like they were being defensive here, and that's been a challenge. Blocking, blocking. I'm blocking all the time, right? So if you're stressed like this and in your head and blocking all the time, you're not allowing anything to come in. No relationship, nothing. Now, for some of you, you're moving away from this grief. You're really doing your spiritual work. We've got the Hierophant in reverse. Now, I've got to say, with the Hierophant in reverse, alongside the Hanged Man, there could be, this is um, like an unconventional type of spiritualism. Hello, hi, that's what we do here, right? We are um, very spiritual, but we wouldn't say we're religious. We're not... Um, I can't say that I'm Catholic. I can't say that I'm pagan. I can't say that I'm Wicca. I can't say that I'm anything. I can't say that I'm um, Baptist. You know, I just can't say that I'm a spiritualist. Um, it's not traditional. This is traditional. This is non-traditional. So, um, you know, the truth is, um, it may be that we're coming out of the grief, moving away from it, and moving towards something just very spiritual, even if it is unconventional. Yeah. Someone's really delving into their spiritualism, I think. Coming out of the stress, or trying to, they're in it still, but they've been doing a lot of defensive work here. They didn't know everything. They've been feeling really stressed out. I feel like someone's really just trying to do their work here because they're trying to get out of all this. With the Two of Swords right in the middle, smack dab in the middle, it's always so important. Someone's making a choice even though they don't know everything. See the blindfold? This person needs to make a choice even though they don't know everything. These are two cards of I don't know everything. The Unknown card and the Two of Swords, but they're both in reverse. So, someone's really, I feel like someone's just, honestly, the reason that this Seven of Wands is a challenge is because it's not in the upright anymore, and it's not reversed. I haven't given up, but I also uh, am not totally blocking anymore because I'm conceding. Somebody is just deciding that, you know what, even though I don't know everything, I'm still going to make a solid move in my life. I'm still going to do something. Now, we do have the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is a woman who's been through a lot. And we also have the King of, uh, the King of Wands here in the upright. So, now, could this be a spiritual union between two people? It could be. Could it be a physical contract, like a business par partnership or some other spiritual contract between people. Could they be brother and sister? Maybe. Could they be, you know, father and daughter? Could they? They could be. This is any kind of union, right, with the Hierophant here. But I'm not really feeling that. I'm more feeling that this is about some kind of... I feel like it's spiritual. Okay, but let's grab cards and see what we can come up with. Let's use the... Um, Dark Fairy Tale Tarot. Okay, so we used the Crystal Vision deck. Now we're going to use Dark Fairy Tale Tarot. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good. For tomorrow's reading for December 3rd, 2019, for Tuesday, please tell us, please help us clarify the cards that we've already laid down for the collective, for anyone who will be guided to watch this reading on YouTube. All right, why is the Six of Swords here, please? Why is it here? Okay. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Knight of Cups in the world. Somebody is moving in. Moving in. Moving on. Moving on or moving in. All right. So, now, this is either someone moving towards peace and possibly something really nice here with the, um, the Knight of Cups. Or, this is someone moving away from something, but I'm not feeling it with that Knight of Cups, because Knight of Cups is usually coming in for an offer, to make an offer, or it could be someone going out to give an offer. So that's very possible. This is someone who wants to offer something and come to a peaceful place and end a cycle. This is someone who's had a lot of growth. There's been growth here. I feel there's been growth here. All right, let me look at the hangman. Why is the hangman here, please? Hanged man. Hanged man, please. tossed out there. <clears throat> Three cards came out. They all came out as challenges. Six of Wands, so that's victory. Forward movement and victory. It's a challenge. The King of Swords, that's a challenge as well. And the Nine of Wands. All came out as a challenge. So, what you're looking at while you're looking at all this is you're looking at the fact that... <clears throat> You could either be the King of Swords, which would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, have it somewhere in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone that has Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart. Keep in mind, they don't have to, but they have those that energy of an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini man. All right, now that's a challenge, as well as this Nine of Wands is a challenge. This is more of that blocking energy I told you about. It's also a challenge over here. All right, guarding yourself, blocking yourself. Forward movement and victory is also a challenge. Well, I can understand why. Because if you're blocking yourself, you're not going to have forward movement and victory. So, someone, all the work you're doing while you're in your hangman state is trying to figure out, do I continue to block myself? Or do I move forward with victory? Do I do it with this man? Or... I am this man. Do I continue to block myself or do I move forward in victory? That's the work you're doing in hangman state. So whether you're dealing with this man or you are that man, they're your challenges while you're in the hangman state. They're the things that are going through your head and through your mind and what you're trying to figure out, what you want to do. Very interesting. Definitely someone does want to move tor towards love and peace for sure with this world card. I mean, that's what they are striving for here. It's just, who are we doing it with? And how do we go about it? And am I doing it with an actual person or am I doing it on my own? Because, um, well, it can go really either way. I think somebody's really torn about, do they want to do this with the King of Swords or not? Now, the King of Swords could be the one challenged by, who do I want to do this with? Very interesting. Do I continue to block myself off or do I move forward? All right, let's look at the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here in the reverse? Why is the Hierophant here in the reverse, please? Here we go. Oh, wow. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah. All right, so there's the Five of Swords. This is somebody who would steal lightning from the sky to get their way to one-up somebody. That's done. All right, probably ended when the relationship ended. That could be a breakup in a relationship. Hierophant in reverse, please. One more. One more card for the Hierophant in reverse for tomorrow's reading, please.
Why is the Five of Swords reversed here, please? With the Hierophant reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. Wow, someone's out of balance. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I literally feel like a person's out of balance. Normally, I would say, oh, there's no give and take. There's no, there's a lot of lack here and someone taking advantage. And that's very, very, very possible. All of that's probably true. But I literally feel like there is a person involved here who's out of balance as well. Somebody is just... I feel like they're not thinking straight. Um, I just want to get one more only on the Hierophant Reverse. Why is the Hierophant reversed here, please? Just one card just on the Hierophant in Reverse. The Devil. There we go. That's why he's not that's why they're not thinking straight. Alright, this person is um toxic, toxic mind. Their mind is kind of very toxic right now which is why someone's really doing their own spiritual thing here, going within, doing their hermit thing, doing their hanged man thing, trying to figure out whether they're going to continue on with this person because this person is, this is a lot of toxic energy. This person is toxic. It is. And this could have been, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, I can't even speak now. I feel like ever since we've been talking about this group here, I can't, my th throat chakra is closing up on me. I feel as though this person, I mean, and for some of you, I have to be honest, for somebody, this is, might be someone who practices the dark arts. They might be doing, like, dabbling with some kind of, like, dark stuff, witchcraft spells, something that's negative. Wow. And this person could be very karmic to someone here. All right, let's keep going. I can see why someone's very confused as to why they want to move forward with that person. There's a lot of negative energy. All right, let's get the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here, please? Oop, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Hold on, guys. Whole pile went down. Well, half the pile. Half of the whole pile. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got to give myself a little more work in space here, guys. All right, space. There we go. Let me get pulled in. I don't exactly have a computer chair. I gave it to my son. <laughs> okay. Um, his broke, so I gave him mine. All right. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here, please? For tomorrow's reading. Why is the King of Wands here? Hmm. The Knight of Wands. This is usually good news. Why is the Knight of Wands here with the King of Wands, please? Why is the Knight of Wands here with the King of Wands? Sorry, that's, did I say knight? It's the page of wands. Oh my gosh. Page of wands. Why is the page of wands here with the king of wands? Page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Please with the king of wands. Seven of Wands again. This is twice with the Seven of Wands. All right, so. I feel like, oh my God, somebody here wants to make an offer and the other person is just like this. Wait, let me show you. The other person is like, you can't get through the barrier. It's not happening but in their defense 
I feel as though they feel this person's dark. They have like something dark about them and um, they're protecting themselves from it. And that's the main reason why they are blocking. Oh my God. All right, let me get one more just for the Page of Wands. What's the Page of Wands doing here, please, for this reading? Why is the Page of Wands here? <laughs> Final decision will be made. All right, we have the Death card and we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So all this juggling is going to end. It's going to come to an end. All right, so someone, there will be a decision made here. Right now, someone's just doing a lot of blocking and maneuvering, and um, I feel like someone is going to come in and present their case. Hey, here I am. This is what I want. I do feel like a decision will be made. I don't know what that decision is right now. From what I'm seeing over here, someone's afraid. They feel like someone's dark. All right, let's look at the um, Two of Swords reversed. Why is the Two of Swords reversed here? Oh my goodness gracious, that's gorgeous. Well, the decision in the center here, decision made after not knowing what to do, decision made, how beautiful is that? Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow! So, someone is getting their fulfillment in their foundation, whatever their foundation is, whether it be finances, whether it be home, family, whatever it is, work, and starting a brand new beginning. So someone has decided, if if nothing else, they're going to go after, uh, sometimes the Ten of Pentacles can be financial. Um, like, if nothing else, they're going to go for uh, fulfillment in financial areas. But it, really, the Ten of Pentacles is whatever you consider to be your foundation. So this can be your home, your family. This can be your finances. Very interesting. So some kind of new beginning is going to begin. I feel like it's going to be, you're getting fulfillment here too as well. And decision made. Wow, that's really interesting. All right, let's get this Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? For tomorrow's reading for the collective. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Moon reversed. Okay, finally we're getting some answers. These are those things that were unknown, right? Now they're known. <clears throat> so there's there's answers coming in. They're going to bring you to a place of peace. Six of Swords again. So again, you have had the Six of Swords as well. Moving on to peace. So whatever comes out, whatever information you're getting, finally is going to get you out of your head and get you to a place of peace. Even if it's the own information you discover by doing all your internal work that you're doing in the hanged man. In, well, you're in the hermit mode here. You're in the hanged man up here. You've had the hanged man twice, didn't you? I don't know why I thought you did. But either way, you still have the hanged man. Uh, I feel as though... No, okay, it was the hermit. Okay, so you've had the hermit, you've had the hangman, we know you're doing your work, so whatever this information is, whether it's your aha moment of discovery and you realize something while you're doing all this internal work, no matter what, you're move, moving towards peace here. Getting yourself out of this place in your head where you've been so stressed out about whatever this decision is, I feel. All right, let's look at the unknown card in reverse. Why is the unknown card in reverse here, please? Why is it here in reverse? Oop, nope. Why is the unknown card here in reverse? For the collective for tomorrow's reading, why is the unknown card here? There's the hermit again. That's twice. This is a lot of this is about the discovery you make while you're doing your internal work. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Wow. Okay, so we have the Empress in reverse. I feel like this Queen is an Empress. We've had the Empress in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the... 
Queen of Cups in reverse. I wouldn't doubt it by the end of this. We don't get um, the Queen of Wands as well and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I do feel like this is an Empress, but I feel like she's been under a tremendous amount of pressure, stress, carrying too many burdens. She's coming out of it. Every, you're coming out of everything. I really do feel like you're going to come out of all of this. I'm going to get one more on it. Why is the Empress here in reverse with the Queen of Swords reverse, please? Why? The King of Wands reverse. So that's the guy back here, right? Is he here? Yeah, he's the one who wants to come in and make this offer that's probably, well, I feel like he's been like, the one that the queen's been blocking herself from. I do. And I also feel like um, he's been waiting for something because these two flipped over too. So seven of pentacles flipped over and so did the five of cups reverse. This is coming out of... Now this is a different five of cups. I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. But okay, so when I say why is the empress in reverse, I get that the king of wands is waiting... And then we have this Five of Cups in reverse. Well, this Five of Cups, if you see, she never even pays attention to the cups that are spilled. She's just focused on her little bird, her friend, and the fact that she's got one remaining cup over here. So it's like these are the two things she cares about. And she's not going to pay any mind to what's behind her. The past is in the past. Um, I do feel as though that was in reverse. So I feel like the King of Wands has been waiting. He'd like to revisit that past. He'd like to, and she, the Queen or the Empress, what I was asking about, has been under a lot of pressure. And she's in reverse because she does not want to go down that road with him. I really feel like she doesn't want to. Bottom of the deck, Emperor's at the bottom of the deck as well. Very, very interesting. Anyway, guys, I think we have um, a cycle that's trying to end, a cycle that's trying to begin. We have somebody here who's been under a lot of stress and pressure who just wants to move away from the past. Somebody who wants to move into a new. They feel as though this person is karmic and they have a very dark side. Um, I feel like I'm dealing with an empress. I feel like she is very spiritual in a different kind of way, but I feel like she's worried that her king of wands in reverse is very karmic to her and might have a very dark side let's see if we get any kind of um after tarot on this that makes any sense okay spirit and angels anyone for the highest good please tell us what comes next in this situation for tomorrow's reading for tuesday december third 2019 why what happens next in this situation for anyone that resonated with this reading please let us know what comes next well, that would be good what comes next here nice anything else Just one or two more, please. What comes next? One or two more. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know there was two there. Yeah, there it is. See? Someone who's not going to focus on the spilled cups anymore. See how this person is now looking at these two cups. They're starting to pay no mind to those. Exactly like that deck. That's the only deck I've ever seen where it's like that, other than the after tarot. Absolutely, that's just confirming that someone is going to come out of that grieving stage they've been in. They're going to no longer fight. Lots of fives here. Fives mean change. There's definite change coming here, guys. Look at this. There's that offer coming in. Somebody literally wants to make a solid offer here. And there is a celebration in store and happiness to come. For some of you... For some of you, 
I feel like you're going to dump the burden, stop grieving over the past, and you might accept this offer. Something stable's coming in. Whether it's, I don't feel like it's from this dark person, though. Or either that, or this is all, like I told you, somebody was off balance and in a real shitty mindset. They might not be a karmic. They might just be in a real shitty mindset. Okay, so listen, it's very possible they're going to get out of that shitty mindset. We have two cards saying they are. Two cards saying that they're going to get out of that mindset. And they're going to stop any kind of... This is also monkey mind as well. Having all those thoughts going through your head. It's not always just fighting with a person. It's very, very, very possible that someone is going to come in, you know, like a solid stable knight. Instead of coming in like a crazed lunatic um, who is having all that, you know, darkness. It's very possible. Maybe all this healing that's going on. All of this um, going within, we've had the hermit twice, we've had the hanged man here. Maybe all of this is someone getting right, getting healed, getting back on track, and going to come in with the offer like a knight should, solid, stable, and steady. This is, an, this is a Virgo right there. Could be Capricorn, could be Tur Taurus. But that's the kind of energy they're going to come in. That's someone who's solid. That's not someone who's goofy as all get out this is goofy as all get out right out of balance wanting to one up someone no matter what coming out in a very devilish ugh, form like i want what i want i can be damned everyone else right this is the way we want a person to commit so either you guys are going to have someone brand new walk in and offer you something amazing and you're going to be like yuppie thank you god or this person, now this could go male or female. Keep that in mind. You could be a man out there going through this with a, a woman who's in this yucky form right now, right? Okay. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. If this happens to you, this other person could be gone. This could be done and a new person could come in. Or this could be the same person who's done a whole hell of a lot of work on themselves. And they're ready to close out that old cycle of the toxicity. Okay? We do close out toxicity eventually if we're not, you know, truly toxic people. Some people are just stuck in toxicity for a while. They get wrapped up with the wrong people. They get wrapped up in the wrong situations and they become toxic. Just like the people and the situations around them, you know. My grandmother used to say, now she would say this in Italian, but I know what it means in, in English. If you walk with the lame, you learn to limp. And that's not meant to be rude to anyone. It She meant lame people like lame, like that. Not people who are truly hurt. But she would say it in Italian. And Italian people have that way about them. that, And it would rhyme in Italian. And it would just be like, you are who you hang out with, you know. And I always, always paid close attention to what she said because she was a very insightful, very spiritual woman. And um, <clears throat> all the things that she used to say to me now as an adult makes so much sense to me. And she was such a upright, very, very amazing person. So, you know, you have to look at it this way. You know, if someone who is so good, such a good person, gives you advice like that, you know, you really want to take it to heart, especially when you get older and really know what these things that they say mean. But um, I, we do all, at some point in our lives, go through these dark times where we're stuck with people that really just bring us down. And I feel like this person could come around and come back around and be a totally changed person, which would be really cool. But um, if not, I feel somebody brand new is coming in. Somebody really cool. A knight, a, not just any knight, the knight of pentacles, the most solid, stable, and steady knight of the whole deck, right? And there's going to be a happy celebration here. All right, angels, what do you want the collective to focus on for Tuesday's reading, for tomorrow's reading? Wow, beautiful trust. Wow, trust. Have gratitude. 
and then <laughs> delight delight have some fun listen for some of you I just got this um for some of you someone's bringing in something for you something that might have been I know I had a reading about this the other day for some of you someone's I don't remember who it was for guys but Somebody had a reading about someone who was keeping something from them. I don't remember. There might have even been two readings like this that were somebody was, I don't know. I don't remember, guys, but this could be a continuation of that. And, um... I don't know. I feel like somebody's bringing in some, for some of you, this is just a few of you, something tangible coming in that you, what, that you were supposed to have, and you're going to freak out and be so happy when it comes in, because I don't know if you knew it was coming, but when it comes in, trust it, be grateful for it, and then party your ass off. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know if this at all makes sense to you that that little end story i just got that last second so that that little end story was a spinoff of the story we had the other day so heads up on that and you guys have to let me know and um i'm really excited for whoever's getting something really great anyway guys i hope you have an enjoyable tuesday i hope you have a great day i'm gonna have like all kinds of readings coming out for you guys i'm gonna finish out this week then I'm probably going to do, um, we're, we're not doing weeklies right now. We're just doing, we did the monthlies. We'll do a mid-month. We're going to do a Christmas reading. Um, and I'm sure at some point right after Christmas, I'll be working on the New Year readings for you guys. And that's going to be really cool. Okay, guys. So, um... Please like, share, subscribe, share your story down below. I had that little extra story come in at the end. So whether the previous story was for you guys or that extra story at the end was for you guys, I want to hear about it. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.